Fucking balls everywhere, son. Where does born? Where does born? There's a little lotion, a lot of oil. So much shit was going off the nuts, my boy. There was even hair all over the cake, my boy. Where does born? Where does fucking born, my boy? If I was Diddy, oh man, what a, <laughs> what else is there really to say? I mean, the intro, I mean, um, if I was Diddy, right, in the situation that I put myself in, if I was him, I mean, I'm going to jail, and on top of going to jail, you opened up a can of fucking worms that you are not fucking ready for, man, but I'm sure you like the worms either way. So here's the thing, right, about Diddy, all right? If I was Diddy in the situation that he's in, Loki, I would have brought myself at least a fucking, uh, oh, I don't know, a fucking, um, probably a whole bottle of, like, oil or some shit. I don't know. Probably a bottle of fucking lotion as well. Lotion, oil, preferably lube, uh, to get the job done, because I know his dumb ass is gonna be suffering. It's gonna get dry in there in prison. It's gonna get severely dry in there, and he's not gonna fucking last in there. The lotion, mostly for ashy purposes. Um, I mean, he's, he's really fucked, man. I don't know. I don't know really much else to say other than Diddy really, really fucked up. He also opened up a can of fucking worms with all this shit. I mean, the whole conspiracy theory shit, hearing that Beyonce may or may not have also have done some foul ass shit. Fuck, I shouldn't have done that. Fuck, I'm dying. Fuck! Please, somebody save me. I got a gang of Diddy's down there. Please, please, someone save me. I don't want to fucking get diddled. Motherfucking Diddy's gonna have to bake for his life now, fucking bitch ass motherfucker. On top of all the fucking conspiracy theories besides Beyonce, what is there? There's also like possibly like a whole list of fucking people going to the that went to the fucking parties and shit like that and are in some deep shit possibly. Because of all the shit that they witnessed. Oh man, bro. It's fucking crazy, dude. Oh, I also saw the fucking uh, audio of Meek Mill and him and shit. And I was like... I, well, I heard it. Not... not. Well, I seen it slash heard it. How about that? I seen it on, on, uh, on X slash Twitter. That shit is fucking wild. That shit was fucking wild. It was his security guard, I believe, that let go of that shit. Like, they were going hard in the pain. Meek, Meek and fucking Diddy. They were going something like... Oh, oh, oh. I ain't gonna lie, that shit's that shit sounded really, really, really fucking really, really dry, low key. It sounded really, really fucking rough. Also, it sounded like Meek was under the fucking influence, dude. I he may or may not have been uh, under the influence, poor bastard. I really do feel bad for him, man. I really do. If y'all haven't seen the audio, I'll go ahead and throw up a snippet of it because it's pretty fucking crazy. I'm not even gonna lie. I mean, if I, if I had to hear it, you have to hear it as well, motherfuckers. All I know is for sure is that Diddy's probably gonna have such a tough time in prison without anything of like lotion, oil, or lube, bro. So, I don't know how it's gonna go for him. But besides that, the case itself, the one thing that I'm really, really, really um, not surprised about, but also very curious about is uh, the whole human or sex trafficking type of shit and racketeering shit. Mostly the sex trafficking shit. I want to know what exactly he had uh, going on there. Was it like, you know, adults, grown-ass adults? Or was there possibly some fucking minors like Drake over there? Now, before you Drake fans start getting all over me about this shit, uh, <laughs> I hear something to make you motherfuckers happy. Calm down, Drake fans. Don't worry. I, I sort of believe you a little bit on the accusations. Don't worry. At least, at least I know it's mostly Drake that we're, we're, we're mostly worried about. But, uh, I mean, he was at Diddy's party, man. I mean, let's be honest here. He was at Diddy's party and shit, you know what I mean? I mean, I don't know about those accusations now, man. I don't know. I mean, you can say whatever you want about Kendrick, but at this point, it's not looking too too good for either um, for either Drake or Diddy, man. I mean, they're, they're kind of fucked. Damn, fucking Nicholas just died, bro. That's crazy. Crazy, he tossed his shit like fucking Diddy did to me. Holy fuck, I landed on the train. That's crazy. These guys are so fucking screwed. I don't know how the fuck they're gonna survive this. I got smacked harder than uh, Diddy's victims. I uh, got smacked harder than uh, one of uh, Diddy's victims by his ball sack. I uh, got tossed around harder than um, any of, uh, of Diddy's victims. I don't know, I was trying to think of something better than that.
Let's see, let's take a moment as well because I'm also trying to get my thoughts together about this whole uh, fucking no face, no case situation. Because really, if you have a face uh, in this case, you're fucking, you're fucking screwed. <laughs> and I mean, there was so many people about that shit. I remember who was also about that shit. There was uh, even Kobe Bryant. There's even like conspiracy theories or whatever about Kobe Bryant possibly knowing some shit about those parties or whatever. I, I, I've seen so much shit online. I mean, Kobe was there. LeBron was there. I mean, there was a whole bunch of people. Also, here's my thing, right? Here, here's one thing that I, I do kind of uh, um, thinking about <laughs> quite a bit with that fucking dude. To me, I feel like deep down inside with all that's going on with Diddy, I honestly feel like that motherfucker may or may not have something to do with what happened to Biggie. I would not doubt that uh, some wild that shit is going to come out about that situation as well. I mean, I hope not. Hopefully, uh, you know... As much as I want justice for Biggie and his family and all that, at the same time, I I feel like it just needs to be left in peace. But at the same time, there's just so many un unanswered questions about uh, about Biggie's death. And uh, one of them being that uh, Diddy may or may not have had uh, something to do with it. Um, I hope I hope not. Hopefully, maybe it's just, you know, some dumb fuck just shot up Biggie because of jealousy or whatever. I mean, I read uh, all sorts of documentaries. I've seen so many uh, TV shows about it. Um, I've seen even that one show, uh, Unsolved, The Murders of uh, Biggie and Tupac. And that was a really good show. A really good show. It was a short series, but it was a really, really good show uh, nonetheless. But uh, it definitely had a lot of questions about the case overall. Um, Detective Poole. And uh, just so much of the LAPD being possibly involved with that bullshit. I mean, it's it's pretty crazy. The one uh, other issue also that I saw was it fucking Diddy became suicidal. But I guess that's just something they do all the time with like uh, people that are in those situations, I guess. I don't know. Uh, but honestly, I don't really believe that. I think that motherfucker was ready to just, uh, you know, hang up the sticks. I think he was ready to hang up the sticks, you know, because... Uh, I mean, he's in, he's in some real deep shit. I mean, I feel like he knows a lot more about so many other things as well that uh, he's leading to believe, you know what I mean? But who fucking knows? Who fucking knows? I just, I really do feel like uh, he was ready to hang up the sticks, you know what I mean? He was uh, ready to hang up the hang up the microphone, if you will. Um, you know, hang up, uh, hang up, um, I don't even know what, I don't know. I don't even know where I was going with that. But anyways, yeah, no, I feel like he was just ready to hang up the sticks um, at one point. Maybe he probably was slightly thinking it, but the media just wants us to believe otherwise. Honestly, like I said, this is a video if I was, uh, you know, if I was Diddy. In his position, in the position that he's in, I mean, you got to fucking take everything into consideration. You got to look at everything from all four corners, all six corners, whatever the fuck, right? Because you're in some deep shit. I mean, if... If they're finding out more and more about, you know, you and your fucking crazy ass uh, Brooklyn tendencies. Damn, I just got everybody fucking tossed. Fuck. They got tossed harder than Diddy's all victims. Oh, fuck. No way. No way, bro. No way, bro. No way, bro. No way, bro. I'm getting fucking gang banged by a bunch of Diddy's, bro. Y'all think that maybe that's uh, what Diddy's arms look like? Uh, he's like got one big ass arm and one little arm uh, after all he's been doing and shit, you know, stroking the shaft, you know what I mean? Stroking the, stroking the, uh, the line, you know what I mean? That he has, uh, out and back the door. Oh, I also seen, oh man, this is going to be wild. I also remember seeing something about, uh, Diddy, uh, drugging people as well. That's also really, really fucked. Again, he's got a whole shit storm of things coming his way with that case, man. He is really, really fucked, man. I mean, I've literally seen... Seeing people fucking like just killed over, you know, from the chairs and shit like that, that he was, they were sitting at at his fucking parties or at his house and shit. And I'm just like, God damn. Like that's like, there's so much evidence against that dude. It's fucking insane, man. Like I remember seeing all this shit, like you know, the victims, like just looking like they fucking died. But in reality, they're just fucking drugged. Um, Meek Mill getting his shit tossed. You know what I mean? And that audio, his security guard talking about that shit. I mean, it's it's really fucked. And then the sex trafficking and also the uh, thousand bottles of lube and lotion. Oh my god, that man is... Oh man, that, that guy's a legend. I mean, I, I can't even... I mean, yeah, it's disturbing, yes, but I mean, hands down, that's gotta be... That damn. <laughs>
keep uh keep fucking she got beat the fuck out of it by uh like uh Diddy did to that poor girl man. That's it's crazy. Oh my god. Imagine if that was a bottle of lotion, I would have been safe. I'm trying to crack jokes right now while doing this shit, but it's kinda hard because then I get into the game and then I start, you know, thinking too much about it and start having a good time and I tend to stop thinking about what Diddy would do in the <laughs> in this situation that he's in. You hear that battle music? That's probably the shit fucking Mick Mill heard before uh, Diddy did the shit to him, bro, or some shit. I don't know. I think, I think actually, no, I think fucking Mick Mill literally was passed out or some shit. I think he got drugged and some shit happened to him. I feel bad for that dude. I don't know if he volunteered for that shit. I don't think so, but ha, I mean, anything's possible. That shit, that shit went south for Diddy real fucking fast. Oh man, the amount of conspiracy theories, the amount of shit that has opened up from uh, Diddy's fucking antics and all that shit. I mean, there's a lot of people about to go down the fucking train. Like I said, uh, the whole Beyonce thing, I mean, that was uh, also another <laughs> issue that I saw going around TikTok. I, I think that's just bullshit. I don't know. There's people doing some really fucking, like, hard stretching, hard stretching, uh, no pun intended. Some hard stretching from all this shit from Diddy, but at the same time, I will say, again, this whole situation did open a can of fucking worms. Uh, from a lot, from a lot of fucking issues. Even Leonardo DiCaprio. What the fuck does Leonardo DiCaprio have to do with the Diddy situation? I heard he left the country after all the shit that's going on. What the fuck does that man have to do? Well, I will say that motherfucker doesn't date anybody less than, what? He doesn't date anybody over 25 or some shit like that. He's like more into women that are less than 25 years old or some shit like that, which is fucking wild. Grown ass man thinking he can fucking still pull kindergartners or some shit don't get me wrong i love i love leonardo caprio he's a really great actor but at the same time it's like bro come on now can't be doing that shit you're too you're too grown for that kind of shit fucking two fucking tanks bro two fucking tanks are you fucking shitting me how the fuck does that make sense what the fuck just happened holy fuck yo he just got his shit rocked well, I got fucking surrounded by Diddy's entourage pounding the fuck out of us, man. God damn. Alright, well, overall, let's see how this whole thing plays out. Because I honestly do find it very, very interesting about what's all about to come out. I mean, there's so many conspiracy theories, so many things about to just fucking hit the fan for a shit ton of people and shit. A lot of favorite people's in their... A lot of people in their favorite artists are about to just... You know, probably go to prison, go along with Diddy. They better bring some fucking lube, some lotion, some some fucking some fucking baby oil, whatever they gotta do to make sure that they're comfortable because I just know it's gonna get dry in that motherfucker. Not saying I've any experience there, but I mean, you know. Uh you just read up on a bunch of shit, you know what I mean? But he's really he's really fucked. I mean, Diddy is really, really, really fucking screwed. I really I, I, again, if if anything pops up about uh the whole situation about Biggie's uh murder and all that shit i'm gonna lose my fucking mind but i really would not be surprised but i i know it sounds crazy but i feel like diddy honestly did have something to do with that situation uh now with everything that's going on i mean i really do feel like that motherfucker has something to do with that with that dude's um murder i even nah it's too much of a stretch i was gonna say tupac but that's just too much of a stretch but if anything like suge knight having to do with something with pox i kind of believe but not really uh, same thing with the Diddy thing. I, I kind of believe it, but not really. But right now, with the situation that's going on, I could definitely see this motherfucker having something to do with that, man. That That's just so fucking sad. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, like I said, we'll see how this pans out. Um, hopefully, you guys don't get uh, Diddy out there. Stay safe. Stay. Uh, make sure you stay oiled up just in case, you know what I mean? Make sure them cheeks are nice and glossy, you know what I mean? And... Um, Make sure that uh, anytime you're invited out in uh, Brooklyn, make sure it's not one of, uh, oh, I don't know, Diddy's entourage. They're trying to oil you down and do some weird shit to you. So stay safe out there. Peace.